く。Bestest doggy friend like Spike. I could be your doggy, Chucky. Me too. Me too too. But I gotta warn you, I'm a drooler. I'll be a Susie Huwawa doggy. I'm drooling. <laughs> 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 Without tickles. <laughs> okay, okay, that's one tongue three minutes. <laughs> oh. Sweet. Kids and dogs go together like coffee and cream. Nuts and bolts. Bermuda shirt and chafing. And look how happy Chucky is. Every kid should have a pet, don't you think? <laughs> Absolutely. Unless, of course, they're allergic to dog hair like me. Remember when we were kids? I mean, I had my dog, Lukey. But all you ever had was Goldilocks. Oh, Goldilocks, my goldfish. I loved that girl. At least I think she was a girl. It's hard to tell with fish. We had some real nice words about her or him before we flushed. But it's okay about not having a dog. I've learned to accept what I can't control. But what if you could control it? Gotta go. But Stu, it takes three to plant rhubarb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, buddy. You ready for your big surprise? Is it barbecue chips? Your fingers smell like barbecue chips. Oh, yeah. I ate a bunch of chips and didn't wash my hands. But now for the real surprise. Ta-da! Meet Rusty! Oh. I've invented the perfect pet for you and Chucky. A robot dog! He's completely hypoallergenic. And he won't go belly up after three days. Listen, it's not that I don't appreciate your thoughtfulness. I'm just not a dog guy. You're not a dog guy because you never had one. Now Chucky will have that chance. But Stu, it looks so complicated. Nah, I made it easy. Here's his remote control. Watch. Woof, Mark, woof. I have to go potty now. Deal breaker. I have enough potty issues with Chucky. Got you covered, Chaz. It's not poop that comes out. It's jelly beans. Huh? Huh? And I've programmed him with all the classic dog modes. Protection. Playtime. Doggy tricks. Woof, bark, woof. And affection. It'll be the full pet owner experience. Without the expensive vet bills. I guess we could see if Chucky likes them. Pleasure to meet you. Do you think we could dial down the affection mode, Justice Man? <laughs> Hey, little champ, how you doing? Tommy's daddy has a surprise for you. <laughs> bark, what? Bark. It's okay, it's okay. This is Rusty, your new dog. He won't hurt you, will he, still? Of course not. He's a good doggy, aren't you, Rusty? You two are gonna love playing together. Pet me more. Okay, Rusty, you stay here. I'm gonna go play over there. Stop following me! <laughs> Pet me more. Um, okay. Woof, Ark, woof, thank you. <laughs> You'll never find me, Rusty! <laughs> woof, Ark, woof, ready or not, here I come. Ha, ha, ha. And fetch! Woof, bark, woof, woof, bark, woof, woof, bark, 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 wo
When you're right, you're right. Except for that time you convinced me to buy a cowboy hat. Look, guys, I got your doggy now, too. His name is Rusty. Woof, bark, woof. Awesome. That's the amazingest doggy I ever see. Is that dog from outer space? That's a doggy? He's kind of shiny and cranky. Lick, lick, <laughs> lick. Rusty's a really good boy. Woof, bark, woof. I have to go potty now. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're just jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sweet dreams, pal. Oh. Oh. That should do it. Good as new again. And still, I don't think this is working out. Chucky could develop a fear of all things metal. And what would that look like? He might never wear braces or make toes. I'll just recalibrate Rusty to be more helpful. Everything will be fine. Nice PJs. <laughs> boing, boing. Hey, Chucky, where's Rusty? Shh. I sneaked away from him. How come? He's been acting all weird and scary. Your daddy said he fixed him and made him more helperful, but, oh, shh, here he comes. Do it! Oh, he doesn't look scary now. Come on, let's play bouncy ball. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. That's no fair. Yeah, we're on the turn, too. Rusty's wrecking the game. Rusty, you're not opposed to keep pushing the ball to me. We're up for the right back of business. Bye, bouncy ball. You never miss them till they're gone. Sorry, guys. Guess we'll have to play something else. I know. Raptor attack. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rusty, quit helping me. No, I don't want it. Rusty won't let Chucky have fun with us anymore. No, I can still have fun. I can... Ew. Bark, woof. Ah. Time to go home. I had a feeling it would end like this. There's Tommy and Susie and Phil and Lil. Oh, remember when we used to be so happy? You'd all splash and play in mud, and I'd watch from a safe distance across the yard. Oh, those were the days. Oh, my sad little man. It's that scary robot, isn't it? Well, we're gonna give that jelly bean pooper right back to Tommy's daddy right now we are. Woof, bark, woof. Dog catcher, dog catcher. Why would Stu program a dog catcher mode? I'm just an hobo player! Second chair! Woof, bark, woof. Woof. How do I keep losing the record? Woof, bark, woof. Woof, bark, woof. Woof, bark, woof. Woof, bark, woof. Intruder. Help! We gotta save my daddy! I got your backs, Chucky. 
A baby's got to do what a baby's got to do. My trusty stool driver to the rescue! <laughs> There it goes. Probably my most perfect, imperfect invention. Oh, that's not true, honey. You've had hundreds of them. Oh, my gosh. I thought that soulless hunk of metal was going to eat me. No worries. I'll build a better one for you with no bugs. Stu, I don't want another Rusty. But Chaz, Chucky needs a pet. What I think Chaz is saying is that he might want a nice, simple pet for Chucky. Like a hermit crab. Hermit crab? I've heard they're a very quiet, sensitive species. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get carried away. <laughs> Thanks, Spike. I guess I don't need my own bestest donkey friend after all. That's right, Chucky. You got all your bestest friends right here. Bill, <laughs> save them for later. Sorry. Dirty calls. <laughs> These two, they used to be my happy little Jordan and Pippin, John and Paul, peanut butter and jelly. Now they're more like, I don't know. Oh, peanut butter and onion? That's actually not a bad sandwich. <laughs> Cynthia, here's your green matcha tea latte. Jonathan, what did you do to my green matcha latte? It's unusually delicious today. <laughs> oh, just an extra oh, sprinkle of... Oh, who am I kidding? There's nothing that can take away the stress of this city council job. What I need is a spa day. Excellent idea. I'll book you a spa appointment at once. I also need cucumber slices for my eyes and ice-cold water. No, but I am driving. Yeah, you'll find a way. Did you hear that, Cynthia? Mommy gets whatever she wants because she's got a Jonathan. You're right! I need a Jonathan, too! Get out of there, Raptor! Hiya, Didi. Hiya, Betty. Mommy can't stay on account of she's skipping work and having a spa day. Mm. Can you believe it? All of my meetings were canceled. I would have invited you ladies, but, well, then who would watch the children? <laughs> you know what would be nice? To have our own spa day right here. Count me in. But I already have... I'll whip up some facials. But that's not... Jonathan! An afternoon off. Score! <laughs> All right, let's get this going. <laughs> to me for a sec. I, I, I don't want any trouble, Angelica. No trouble. I want to play a new game. It's called Be My Jonathan. I made it up special for you and me. I'd ask Tommy, but you know how he gets. Raptor, use your laser beams. I have been trying to be more adventurous lately. Good. Now go get the frosted animal cookies out of the bag Aunt Dee Dee hides behind the Hanukkah stuff. Where's that? In the pantry. But where? The bottom shelf. How many cookies? Only the pink ones. Okay. What's a pantry? Ugh, Chucky, you're bad at this. I tried to tell you that. You're fired! Shh. Oh, hello, Susie Carmichael. Do you want to play Be My nope, Job? never, no way. Lil. Move, I can't see. You move, Phil. This is my spot. <laughs> Excuse me, Philip. You told me to move, Lillian. You're a good spot, Phil. 
That's okay, Tommy. I'm gonna go play blocks or something. <laughs> Hello, Phil. How'd you like to play a new game called Be My Jonathan? Sounds boring. I like trains and mud. Mm, my mistake. It is kind of a hard game. Maybe I should ask someone else. Like Lou. Uh, no. Ask me. What do I have to do? You have to drive my Cynthia car while I ride in the back and call you Jonathan. But you said if we ever touched your Cynthia car, you'd tie us up with extra long socks. I say a lot of things. Do you want to drive the car or not? Is Phil okay? Don't know and don't care. He's been in a bad mood for days. Maybe even minutes. Forget about him. Let's us play. Toby. Never let me mush that one. Water. Need water. Maybe it's the leftover guacamole on my face talking, but I'm starting to feel better. Betty's been having some behavior issues with the twins. Well, we can't all be a perfect mother. Char, you're hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me Char. Try new foods together. Oh, Jonathan, it's time for my beauty treatment. Did you bring my cucumber pieces and spa day stuff? Uh, I think so. Here. Crabby Phil loves frogs. Hmm, maybe I miss Crabby Phil a little. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Oh! oh! Well, I feel more relaxed. How about you, Char? To be clear, Betty, when I booked a spa day, I just needed exfoliation and a little time to myself. Is that too much to ask? Not at all. Sometimes little things pile up, like babies and bottles and bath toys and the constant struggle for identity in an overly judgy, soul-stepping, social media access world! <sighs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Jonathan, this homegrown spa day is not what I needed. Get back here with an excuse for me to go back to work. Before I turn feral! <laughs> wow! Repto was amazing this time. Right, Chucky? Chucky? Hey! Where'd everybody go? Hey, Phil. Where's Lil? She's with Chucky now. <laughs> and I'm a Jonathan. What's a Jonathan? It's a new game I'm playing with Angelica. Oops, I asked to pick up Cynthia from her spa appointment. Right. <laughs> 
So, what's the fun part of the game? Oh, I get to drive the car around, and that's the only fun part. Wouldn't you rather play with us? And Lil? Can't. I'm in too deep. Jonathan, what's taking so long? I want to see Cynthia all glowy and relaxed. Gotta go. Angelica says a Jonathan never rests. Bye. You know who could get Phil out of this mess? <laughs> Your turn next, Chucky! We had a good run, you and me, but I just want everything to go back to Norman. Need your help, Lil. Oh, he wants to play with Phil, but he's stuck playing a new game with Angelica. I do not know anyone named Philip. Go on. The only one who can get Phil out of trouble is you. It's true. I get lots of practice. Jonathan, are you there? I'm here, Ms. Important City Lady. Good. Now, are you sure you turned the knob three times? This miss level feels like five. Sorry, Your Excellency. Oh, Philip, Philip, Philip. Oh, can you help him, Lil? I'm not sure anyone can help him. Nah, this is a peasy one. Watch. <laughs> I really missed you today. What are we fighting about anyway? I do not know. Got any more of that doggy food? Thought you'd never ask. Reschedule my meeting with the district attorney to Friday and then reschedule my Friday meeting to next Wednesday. But then cancel it on Tuesday and make sure it sounds like I'm really sorry. Already rescheduled, canceled, rescheduled again, and pre-ordered a tasteful cookie cornucopia as an apology. But I really have to go now, Charlotte. Hey, Dante, save me a cabana! Oh, two weeks paid vacation. <laughs> so, you're not going to believe this. But my dad's house needs to be fumigated for bugs, and... No, I believe it. I might have told Stu that they could stay here, maybe bunk in the guest room. And... Everyone's going to stay here? Like a sleepover? Even Grandpa? Yes, sweetie. We're all one big happy family. You see, darling, that's how being married works. You must learn to share everything. Hello? Anybody home? I'll get it! Hot jumping, June bugs. It's even bigger than I remembered. I guess we haven't been invited over since I broke your parents' fancy toilet. <laughs> Speaking of which, where's the bathroom again, sweetie? Right this way, Grandpa. Thanks again for letting us crash, big bro. Yes, Drew, thank you. Are you sure Charlotte's okay with us staying an entire weekend? <laughs> Absolutely! Always happy to spend my treasured alone time with family. And there's Dog. All dogs do that scooch thing, even the well-trained ones. The artisans who hand-knotted this carpet in 19th century Persia would be overjoyed to hear that. Would anyone else like a tour? Great idea, Princess. Why don't you show Cousin Tommy your room so he can start to get comfortable there? The drooly baby! Darling, we talked about this. Daddy and I share a room and you don't see me complaining. While you get the children settled, I'll order in some refreshments. What do you say? You, me, my video game console, your 80-inch flat screen. Classic Stu. Still playing video games. Charlotte had me donate all my games to a charity. Ah, oh, well, you never could beat me at doorstop. Wait, doorstop? It's no fair, Cynthia. My mommy and daddy are supposed to love me and give me stuff, and instead, they ruin my whole life! There we go. All set for you two. Me 
and Tommy are going to have the best time together, Aunt Dee Dee. Oh, sweet. Tommy, remember to listen to Angelica. Your roomies now. <gasps> Angelica, want to play Spaceman? No, this isn't playtime. If we're sharing a room, that means we're married. Uh, gosh, uh, are you sure? I forgot your squishy little brain doesn't know stuff yet. Yes, my mommy and daddy told me already. So things are going to be a little different. Um, maybe they could stay the same as always. Face the facts, Pickles. We're married now. And you heard, Aunt Dee Dee. You got to listen to me. And first thing I'm going to tell you is donate all your toys to charity. Now, tuck in your shirt. We're having a dinner party. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Oh, how divine. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, I love it when you tell that story. Don't you love that story, dear? I said, don't you just love it when Cynthia tells that story, dear? Oh, um, sure, dear. I'd like to impose a toast to my husband, Thomas, the okayingest husband a lady could ever... Hey! Where do you think you're going? Get back here! Oh, 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 sorry, Angelica. We've only been married ten minutes. You can't go crawling off. Now, as I was saying... Hey! Ugh. Oh, forget dumb dinner parties. What we need is a vacation. <laughs> Shut that door on me when I've made it to the mezzanine. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we were playing by Weiner's rules. Ding dong, doorman. Open up. Angelica, look out. Why? I'm a great driver. Oh, Thomas. I think we're lost. Um, were we going somewhere? Yes. Now you push the car buttons and ignore which way the robot lady says to go. And then I smile and say, but she knows best, dear. Okay. She's fierce. She's smashing. She's serving up some sassin. Jonathan, I have a personal emergency. So I need you to call me back and tell me there's a work emergency so I don't have to deal with it. And then I need you to... Charlotte! Oh, good. I'm going to whip up my mom's famous meringues to thank you for letting us stay. Where do you keep your whisk? Oh, you won't find one. No one's ever used this kitchen to actually cook. Maybe in here? Oh! Huh? Not that I don't relish all of this quality family time, but I need to be somewhere else. Good luck with your baking and finding that wusk. Wusk? Well, I forgot the adrenaline rush you get from games. My dust stew. That expression is all wrong for doorstop, but whatever. Hey, Chaz and Chucky's house got infested with bugs, too. Okay, if they come stay over here? Yeah! Honey, would you mind getting that? I'm on a roll. Oh, hey, Charlotte. You are not gonna believe this, but our house has to get fumigated for bugs. No, I believe it. <laughs> and Stu said Drew said you wouldn't mind if Chucky and I stayed here. Of course he did. Please, come in. And a delivery guy just gave me this. I smell barbecued tofu. You go, girl. I'll take that, Chaz. Oh, boy, this. How many times do I have to tell you, dear? I can't understand you when you're brushing your teeth. What teeth? <sighs> Chucky, what are you doing here? Hiya, Tommy. Well, we'll stay here, I guess. Finster! You're a lifesaver. I am? Saving a life sounds like a lot of responsibility, so if it's all the same to you, Angel. Too late! Me and Tommy are married now, and we need a baby, so you're gonna be our baby. But I don't know if I want to be your baby, Angelica. If you're living in our house, you're gonna be our new baby. Hmm, what should I name you? I already have a name. Chucky. Blaine! Blaine? Blaine. Angelica, where are we taking Chucky? We're taking our baby Blaine to the toy store, and he can have all the toys he wants. Really? Uh, hold on, Chucky. I, I mean, Blaine. 
My mommy usually lets me get just one toy at the store. Well, I guess I'm a nicer and better mommy then. Hasn't he watched enough cartoons, dear? Blaine can watch cartoons all the time he wants, dear. Can I play too? No! My baby Blaine never has to share anything. You're perfect. You're never wrong. You're the best baby in the whole world. Daddy and I love you more than we love our cars. Jonathan, you better call me back immediately. But don't call for the next 20 minutes. I'm going to take a nice soak in my spa tub. <sighs> this is some fancy bubble bath you got. French? Open wide, Blaine. Here comes the Sketty. No, I don't wanna. But you love Sketty. I don't want Sketty. I want cookies. But I mean Sketty. I sure don't want it, you dumb baby. You spoiled him. Me? It just flew out of my mouth. Forgive me, Papa. Maybe I'm not cut out to be everyone's baby boy. Yes, you are, Chucky. You're real daddy. Oh, Angelica, I tried to listen and be a good roomie like my mommy said, but uh, I don't want to be married anymore. Oh, this is it. I'm going to finally beat my baby brother. Is that the smoke alarm? Aha! Still undefeated! I am very handy with a fire extinguisher. Stand back and... So, this is goodbye. Yeah, we tried our best. We sure did. Well, see ya, Angelica. Ready for a sleepover at Aunt Betty's! Mommy, Daddy, can you promise we'll never do that again? Well... Oh, yes. We promise. Oh, if that's what your mother wants, yeah, it's probably what's best. Once upon a time, there was a turnip named Doug. Whose little brother Abraham just wanted a hug. Ow! That was a close one, hey, Chucky? Barry, did you clean up those walnuts? Yeah, totally, Eve. Wait, no. All right, Chucky, can you hand the turn up to the nice lady? Oh, well, aren't you a good helper? I've been looking for a good helper to take care of this. It's the very last balloon, which makes it extra special just like you. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, well, Chucky, the very last balloon. Once upon a time, there was a turnip named Stan who had a little dream he'd drive a grocery van. Jack Rocket, this is Jill Target. Are you aimed and ready? Over. All systems go, Jill Target. Over. You are a rare breed, Deed. Not a lot of wives out there helping test drive their husband's homemade catapults. So much better than store-bought catapults. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, what's Tuffy doing next to that thing your daddy made? Uh, I don't know, Lil. I think it's a spearmint. Prepare for launch, Jill Target. Activating the launch pedal in three, two, one, and go! Ah! 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 Did I miss the bear? That is a negatory on Ursa Flyboy. I don't get it. I stepped on the launch pedal. It should have shot Tommy's teddy bear over the roof. Yeah, well, it looks Ugh. like you got a serious problem with your gizmo. Over and out. No, I don't say this lightly. These turnips <laughs> are fire. Ah! Got it. <gasps> Relax, Chaz. You were never in any real danger thanks to my awesome dad reflexes. Dad reflexes? You know, the primal lightning reflexes that enable all dads to save our kids from flying off a swing or stop a runaway scooter or catch a teddy bear midair. Think fast! Ah!
Looks like we need to work on your dead reflexes. Which is a great reason for my catapult. The difference between a contraption and an invention uh, is purpose. Come on, Chaz, to the workshop. Don't wanna go. Hurry, we've gotta fine tune my datomatic rapid reflex tester. And yes, I just made that name up. Anything for science. Hi, Chucky. Why are you holding your balloon like that? I keep it nice and safe, cause that's my job now. The grocery store lady told me it's the last balloon in the world. <clears throat> Let me see how bouncy it is. No, Phil, you can't bounce it. This balloon is the real last one, and I gotta take care of it or else nobody will get to play with the balloon ever again. Don't worry, Chucky. We'll teach you how to take care of a balloon. I guess that's not a bad idea. As long as it's not like that time you taught me how to fit both my feet in my mouth, we're still getting out the taste of toenails. Okay, what's the firstest rule about balloon having? I know! Don't hide it in the potty right before your mommy goes potty. That's the second rule, Philip. The first rule is never let it fly away. It just got to hold on to something heavy. See? Okay, I can do that. But how do I keep it from popping? Easy. Just don't let your balloon touch sharp stuff, like pricker bushes or pointy pencils or old people whiskers. And don't ever, never let it go near the balloon popper machine. That's what that's for? Why do houses even have a balloon popper machine? Why do grown-ups like long pants? There's some stuff so I'll never know. I guess taking care of a balloon's not as hard as I thought. Hey, maybe now we can even play with it. Easy. And done. All right, Chaz, I'll launch, you catch. Okay, okay. Wait, will the bear be flying on a vertical axis or more of a parabola? Follow your dad, Reflex. <laughs> hey, at least the pedal's fixed. Jack Rocket, you're opening car trunks again. Sorry, Mr. Wyndham. And I'm a little worried about Mr. Wyndham's pacemaker over. Don't worry, Chaz. Randy's on his way over, and that dude's dad reflexes are on point. <laughs> we all got to go through the tunnel to turn into butterfly eyes. Hey, what if I come out of heated butterfly eye? Come on, balloon. <laughs> What's going on back there, Chucky? I'm stuck. The balloon won't fit. You meant to let go of its heavy thingy. The balloon popper machine's gonna get it. No, because of me, Chucky Fenster, there'll be no more balloons forever. Chucky's balloon. Dad reflexes, go! Ah. This is why we're doing the work, Chaz. I won't always be here as backup. You're a good friend, Stu. Here, pal, let's take care of that balloon once and for all. Hey, we practicing our dad reflexes? There's Randy. Up high. Uh -huh. You'll get him next time. Quick stop in my workshop for a few tools, and then we're back at it. Well, let's do it. I don't want to go back to the workshop. Tommy, please say my daddy took the balloon someplace safe, like the closet that just got paper towels in it. Nope. He tied it to you. It's going to go everywhere you go and do everything you do. How will I ever play hide and sneak and hide in my favorite hiding place underneath the table? Is it even allowed in the bathtub? What if the bubbles get jealous? What about when I got to go potty? Oh, how did giving that lady turnips turn into the worst day of my life? A lot of stuff happened before you got here. It's all too much. I'm just gonna take a nap now. Since it's the only safe thing I can do with my balloon. Here, Chucky. We'll go outside for a little while. No, 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 balloon. <sighs> when did it get so dark? Tommy? Susie? Hey, I don't got the balloon anymore. Phil! Leo! Guess what? Where did everybody go? We'll twist me into an animal shape. Would you look? It's the last baby in the world. Wicked cool. Holy guacamole! Hey, I'm not 
want to last, baby. All my friends are babies. I just don't know where they are right now. Poor sweet thing. Must be lonely living in a world where all your friends are gone. You must feel so deflated. Hey, we better float out of here before a cloud shows up. Wait! I don't want to be the last baby in the world. Being alone is scary. I love my friends. Tommy! Susan! Phil! Leo! Chucky? What's the matter? I had a bad dream. Now I know being the last balloon is one of the scariest things ever. I got to help Balloon find his friend so he isn't scared and alone anymore. I know where you can find more balloons. Up there. Susie, it's been a real hard day. and This is no time for false hope. No, no, it's true. When my balloon flied away, I was sad. But my daddy said balloons that fly away go to a great big party in the sky. So all we have to do is send Chucky's balloon to the sky party. But how? Chucky's balloon won't let go of him. Who says I can't fly? I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Do what? Take off their shoes? No, Susie. Lil once said that if a balloon holds on to something heavy, it won't fly away. So, if I make me not so heavy, then maybe my balloon can fly me up to the sky party to the other balloons. Wow, Chucky. I, um, but aren't you scared to fly? Of course I'm scared to fly. But if I got to be scared for just a little bit to help my balloon not be lonely the rest of his life, then that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, I'm still not light enough to fly. Pick your nose. They're both holes. Ew, Phil, no. <laughs> hey, looks like Chucky's getting in touch with his wild side. Chucky? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Chucky! Chucky! <laughs> Get tied to a balloon. This is not a drill. Almost. Whoa. Oh, other balloons, if you can hear me, come back to your friend. I got it. I got it. I got him. Yeah, okay, Chucky. You are the true dad reflex master. Thanks to my catapult. Up high. Oh, yeah. But okay, that hurt, so reel it in just a little. Chucky, you flied. But I didn't get to the party or find any balloons. I'm sorry, balloon. Maybe I could pretend to be a balloon like your friends. <gasps> Chucky, you made them all come back. Look, balloon, your friends are here. Wait, wait, what, what, why are they floating away? Purple oh, balloons! Go, go, go. Go. Rogue balloons, 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Dag! What? Haven't you ever heard of mom reflexes? How about we take all these balloons inside? Don't want anyone flying away with them. Oh, Dee, that stuff only happens in those epic parent fail videos. Hey, Barry. Did you wait on those balloons? Yeah, totally, Eve. Wait, no. You can ask your parents to subscribe to the Nick Jr. YouTube channel for new videos every day. And find more of your favorite shows on TV on Nickelodeon and the Nick Jr. channel.